Now, uh, despite what you might see on the marquee where it says the word comedy, uh, the comedy has come to an end because now we're going to do straight drum. <coughs> so we're going to start this scene, uh, including myself, and uh, starting off with Jan here. We're going to do a uh, very serious scene. In fact, uh, let's set the scene here. Uh, how do we yes. know each other? We go way back. How do we know each other? We're chicken farmers. We're chicken farmers. <laughs> There's trouble on the chicken farm. <laughs> Just like back in the 80s. Yes. And, okay, we're going to do this scene. It's going to be a serious scene. It's going to be good and proper drama. But, you know, this place being the way it is, it's only a matter of time before someone up here, or one of you out there, maybe starts to snicker or laugh about something. And when that happens, uh, whichever one of us that caused the laughter will have to get out and be replaced by the next person in line who will continue on the scene. And, uh, yeah. That's chicken the, farmers. Yeah, chicken, chicken farmers. That's what, that's what it's going to be in this very serious drama scene. This is called Make Me Laugh. Yeah. Crops are failing. Chickens are running away, too. <laughs> Man, sure is dry. Dry, they die now. <laughs> I ain't seen nothing this bad since the dust storms of the 30s when my granddad came over here and, well, you know, back in the Depression era. I totally understand when your grandfather came back here, he's all dusty, waiting to start his chicken farm. <laughs> yeah, but back in those days, in the Depression era, we had to fight for our grain. <laughs> right, I'm ready to fight. We had to fight for every little scrap that we got. I know, and I'm ready to fight for more. These chickens here are the last four chickens. And you're just going to have to choke that chicken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I remember my grandfather back in the 30s didn't choke the chicken quite that way. He took a hammer like this and stun them momentarily, like that. They need to be out cold. <laughs> I, I, I thought if it was momentarily stunned, then it would be confused about what we were going to do to it, because I really, that being one of the last four chickens, I really didn't want to yeah, kill them. Smack them on the head, they kind of pause for a minute. <laughs> 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 hey, you know, uh, once you turn off a st take the rip the head off a chicken, you know, they're going to be running around for a bit. You know, if that's not just an old wives' tale, you know, you know the chickens can live for weeks or I mean, months without a head. I remember my grandfather telling me back in the day, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I think this one's still alive. <laughs> Funny, ain't it? <laughs> just rip it. Uh, chicken's head off and <laughs> <laughs> I think the sun is getting to you is what's happening. So let's take the half dead chicken and eat it Well first we're gonna plump it and then we're gonna eat it because this this is how a chicken farm works. You see you harvest the chickens. Paul Yes I have an idea that's a first <laughs> Paul, why don't we let them lay eggs and then we can harvest the eggs? That might work, because then they would be procreated, thus... Here, eggy, eggy, eggy! My grandfather used to say when you call it a chicken, you must Use its proper name, not its slang name. Chickaronius. Chickaronius. <laughs> now you're respecting the chickens, and they respect you back. I think we need a rooster in order to fertilize them eggs and make more eggs. We had a rooster. It died in the dust storm. Damn shame, really. <laughs> I hate when cocks 
Bruce. Bruce. <laughs> <laughs>